idea came to me when I went to Osborne House on the Isle of Wight and I saw uh, the portrait of Abdul Karim where he's painted like a nobleman in red and gold and cream and that aroused my curiosity because I felt he's not a servant and it started from there. I went to Windsor Castle, I saw the journals they'd kept, uh, I read a few letters and everything was bringing the relationship alive for me. Then I published my first edition of the book because I knew that they are out there and somebody is going to reach out to me. So I, I had enough material for the first edition. I did that and within a few days and in my interviews I said I'm looking for the family and within a few days I was contacted by the family, by the descendants in Bangalore in India and they said, um, you know, they told me that there was a journal. His diaries were in Karachi, in Pakistan with the rest of the family. So next flight, I got my visa. I was going to Pakistan and I saw this, you know, found this diary, which nobody had looked at for over a hundred years. It was just lying in the trunk. Even the family hadn't read it. Even the family didn't know where he was buried. You know, this entire history, they didn't know anything. They just luckily had kept that diary she just you know she just brings out all these layers to the to this performance the loneliness of the queen the feistiness as well the romantic side i mean sometimes she's a young girl of 16 having a glass of champagne and dancing and singing and sometimes she's a lonely old lady and she just does this so beautifully it's it's incredibly moving i mean the film makes you laugh and cry at the same time he was such a fresh face he is such a surprise uh, that he was so good uh, to keep up with Judy Dench would have been a really awesome job for any actor and for somebody who's just, you know, straight out from India. And so he lived this role. He was coming into this world. And, he, you know, in some ways, he was, it was like a parallel journey as Abdul Karim would have made. Uh, and he, he's very good. He, he brings out all the layers in Abdul Karim as well. So, yeah. <laughs>